So it's one o'clock. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Yogis Dolenz. I'm a chemistry information consultant at Information Center, Chemistry Biology Pharmacy. And today I would uh, like to present you the LinkedIn Learning platform. So what is LinkedIn Learning? LinkedIn Learning is an online educational platform um, from LinkedIn Corporation. Um, the platform now offers over 16,000 courses um, on business technology and creative skills. And they are now available in 13 different languages. Of course, most of the courses are in English, but you can find also courses in Italian, in German, in Spanish, and so on. I'm going to show you that in a minute. Uh, some of the LinkedIn courses offer certificates as well, or there are courses for, with which you can prepare for certificates. Um, I'm going to show you that as well. Um, and there's a LinkedIn learning app uh, where you can download then the videos and uh, look at them offline. Now at ETH Zurich, uh, LinkedIn learning is available through the IT shop, but only for uh, the ETH employees, unfortunately not for the students. So um, the students can get, um, well, their, their subscription over LinkedIn and um, one has one month for free and then one needs to pay. Um, I would like to say that I personally think one month, if you really want to learn something, is also uh, already a very nice time to, to, to look at uh, certain courses. Uh, so here's just a slide uh, how this looks in the ETH um, IT shop. Uh, so if you want to search for a LinkedIn learning subscription, you just, um, yeah, you search really for, for the keywords. And then uh, as soon as IT services activate your account, you'll get an email and then you can log in uh, through the uh, main LinkedIn uh, learning page using ETH credentials. So there's nothing special. It goes as soon as you have the, um, the license from the ETH, you can, you can do what I'm gonna show you now. So I'm gonna go to um, LinkedIn learning site that's that one and then you have your sign in um, and once you click on that you get to a shibole authorization and you can log in now i have this all saved already to make it uh, faster and here we are uh, in linkedin learning so what you can see is a lot of uh, commercials and marketing and so on um, but uh, the most important part is actually this uh, search bar here on the top uh, where it asks you, what do you want to learn today? And that's, I think, the most common usage of LinkedIn Learning. So you can, for example, if you want to learn something about Adobe Illustrator, you just put in Adobe Illustrator search, and it will give you now a list of over 6,000 uh, courses on Illustrator. And you can see here, um, we have filters on that level where you can decide on the language of the course. Now I have English. If I would switch to German, I would get German courses, but not 6,000, but 1,500 is around about. Still a lot, I have to say. So let me go back to English. Then uh, you can filter on a type of a course. Um, I'm gonna say a little bit more about that. Mainly learning paths are a collection of several courses. They take longer and courses are what I'm gonna demonstrate you now. Uh, Hands-on, if you want uh, exercises or not, how much time do you want to uh, invest into a course, you can also filter based on that. And this is actually a very good filter. So if you really only want, let's say, advanced courses on Illustrator, you can click advanced and it will not show you essential trainings, but really specific features on, um, on how to do work with feathering and so on. So let me go now back um, to... Uh, I will now take these filters away and I would like to show you how a course looks like. So we have here courses uh, on essential training in Illustrator. Um, let, let, let us look at maybe um, that one, which I didn't look so much into yet. Uh, you see who does it, when has been posted and how long it takes. If you really like the course, you can here uh, add it to your collection. I can, for example, show you now, um, now it will show my collections. I have like several uh, folders here on programming, music, graphic design, data visualization, and so on. And inside I put in different courses, which I find interesting, or you can just simply save it. And now finally, let's go to the course. Um, how the courses are built. You have here on the left-hand side, always the contents. Uh, so you can see what it, the course covers. 
little uh, introduction. Then um, in this case, things about the environment, selection tools, transforms, uh, shape and line tools and so on. And for example, if you want to know more about drawing basic shapes, you can just go and look only at that part if you like, yeah? And then you get um, the, the the course uh, about this. Now I can't see why uh, there's no sound, but. So I'm not, I'm gonna stop that now. But that's how it goes. And there's always a transcript. So you get uh, the whole text of what's being said. It's written down. And then if you go to, into the overview, you can see more about um, the educator who does that, uh, how the course is evaluated. You ha have very often exercise files that you can download. And you can see what kind of certificate you can get for that particular course. In this case, it's just a LinkedIn learning certificate. And what is also nice, um, you get uh, sometimes suggestions for related courses, which you didn't maybe think of and you like, and then you can visit them. So that's a um, uh, very short preview of one course. Now, for those who are not interested, let me go back, who are not interested in design, but maybe in programming, I can go to Python. And you then get, um, like lots of courses on Python. Maybe I want I can show you now what a learning path is. So we are now looking at courses, but if you would want to see a learning path, then um, you would get a collection of um, courses that take much longer. This one is 31 hours long, become a software developer. And then you get like really, really many courses joined together in a so-called learning path. Uh, in which are essential for uh, software development. This is also, I think, very nice. Um, maybe another example for those who are interested in Microsoft Office, I have here Microsoft Excel. Um, so the same, you have um, different types of courses, videos, courses, learning paths, and you can go around that. Now with that, I will not browse here anymore. I would like to briefly show you what this here on that side means. So of course uh, you can tell LinkedIn Learning about your career ideas and it will give you a suggestion what kind of courses you can um, take. There's II coaching where you can ask um, uh, what um, kind of courses would be suggested on a certain topic. I'm not gonna do that. What I find more interesting is this content part where you can browse uh, different topics that are covered by LinkedIn learning and let me show you. So I mentioned already in the beginning, there's business technology and creative courses. Now, uh, if I go to business first, uh, it has here the so-called role guides. So for example, if you want to become a social media manager, you can click on that and it will tell you what kind of uh, courses are uh, good to take if you want to become, to, to, to master this role, yeah? But that's not all. Uh, basically, if I go back, um, you have here under business topics, all kinds of topics that are covered within LinkedIn Learning. So if you're interested in data analysis, data visualization, you can click here and it will give you courses. Um, if you're interested in uh, project management also, and here is training and education under business also, you get um, courses on how to improve your teaching and educational technologies. Below each of those, there's a uh, a collection of software that's also being covered with LinkedIn Learning. So Microsoft Excel, I showed you before. We have here also, uh, let's say, Google Analytics, if you want, uh, access and so on. So this is now uh, the business part. Now, then we go to the technology part, just to browse a little bit around that. Uh, so here we have, again, a different role guides. So if you want to become a data scientist, you can click on that, and it will suggest you which kind of courses would be worth for you to take here. Yeah? So um, prompt, generative AI, um, all kinds of skills and so on. This is just, these are really just suggestions. And also here you can say on which level you wanna look into that, yeah? So if you go to advanced, then uh, more interesting things come up. Um, and more general browsing in that field will give you uh, different technology topics from AI, machine learning, generative AI, to cloud computing, to data science, to uh, security skills, software development, and again, different software you can uh, learn about uh, on, on LinkedIn Learning. Okay, and now the last one for creative people, there's also something on LinkedIn Learning. 
So um, here, if you want to become, for example, a graphic designer, uh, LinkedIn Learning will give you a top courses for beginners or for advanced if you want. Um, and uh, more than that is uh, are the topics listed here. So there are courses, many courses on animation, illustration, design, photography, video, uh, web design, and so on. And then again, uh, software links for the courses um, on, on those topics. So with that, um, I will be now leaving the platform. Uh, here on the left-hand side, there are some um, settings you can make. Um, here is also my library with all the courses that I'm doing, that I have saved my collections and so on. Um, and um, if you would like to just try it once, let me know and I can, I can show you. I can, you, I can give you, a, 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 we can look into the platform more in details together. And now I'm gonna go back to my um, presentation. So coffee lecture card is available here up front, um, but it's also online. And I put um, the link, this link that you can see up here into the chat. It, here are just some basic information on um, what LinkedIn learning is. And with that, we have finished the first week of our coffee lectures. Um, and I hope you will join us again next week. Next week, Leo will start with a chemistry database, which is a free chemistry database uh, from British Royal Society of Chemistry. It's called ChemSpider. And then we go on with uh, Kudos and um, EndNote until Thursday. So thank you very much for your attention. And I'm open to questions. Thank you.